when we started, we were coming off the back of all the great work of, of the activists of the 1970s and 80s, and then prior to that, of course, all of the resistance since the signing of the treaty and the arrival of Pākehā to New Zealand. So that's been, the, been a, you know, we know that we sit on, sit on that huge legacy and that for us to be able to just be here and create art is a massive privilege. It's a wonderful feeling to come into a space and you recognise performers, dancers, people, artists, because there's a, a, an immediate connection and uh, you're, there's already an engagement, there's already an understanding, there's already, uh, already a knowledge foundation. When I look at some of the fundamental underpinning principles of Te Ao Māori, concepts such as kinship, reciprocity, manaki, whānau, whānui, these concepts are not only for Māori, they are for everybody. What I always think what's good for Māori is good for everyone. A manaki, teina tuakana and certainly hauora are all very important aspects of all cultures, not Māori specific. So I suppose in some ways I can't help myself because I was raised that way and I know that it works for me and when I can see it impacting and influencing on others it's got to be a good thing. I'm very comfortable with my full self in touch with my masculine and in evenness with my feminine and that's not always easy for a male being able to shift shape through different occasions or different mediums or different platforms or different people, lots of different processes. And also being an artist, that's my platform where I can showcase those, those attributes. So we, we understand the frame, where the frame is, and then we can, we can move and branch, but we, from, but we always know what the structure of the whare is. It's a space that has evolved over the last 20 years to include different choreographic voices, but always at the heart it is somewhere where artists can come to create, to tell stories that are important to them about their own whakapapa, their own stories, the expression of being a Māori in a contemporary world. I guess the ideal world is when you're working with a group of self-responsible, self-reliant people who individually choose to come together collectively to manifest something. Then you have equal power, equal mana. So it becomes a personal journey of investigation of whakapapa and of your reo and your commitment to that, however you choose to do that. But it won't demand it or force it. It has to be something that is nurtured and kept safe and that arises from uh, each person's personal journey. <laughs>